camera and literally died right after that clip but good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new hi nice to meet you my name is Lisa Roxy so I told you guys in my realistic what I eat in a day that I would be doing a healthy what I eat in a day coming very very soon when I am on like my healthy grind and I'm like which I'm trying to get back on anyways I'm trying to start having a healthy breakfast healthy lunch again healthy dinner stuff like that and eat whatever I want for snacks but my meals I want to be more like filling and healthy if that makes sense fast food you know or crappy food you're gonna be hungry in another hour so this will keep me over and for a couple hours at least at least until like what i don't know what time it is but probably like three four hours rather than like two hours you know i got a little watermelon i didn't want a lot but i did have a craving for watermelon so i literally just put two and then i made my over easy eggs with a bagel which is what you guys just saw when my camera died but i just wanted to i don't know I wanted to start on like a kind of different vibe for this video because I feel like my realistic what I eat in, the, in a day was like super chaotic. So I figured it'd be nice to kind of have a change of pace and be more calm and just like let you guys see what I'm making and then talk to you after, which is exactly what I did. Which you guys know because obviously you're watching right now, like you know what you just watched. I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'll see you guys when we're having snack or lunch. I think I'm gonna go get boba in a little bit. So I'll show you guys where I go and like what I get because I also have to go to the store for a video that's coming very, very soon, so keep your eye out for that. Yeah, I have to go to the store and I've been craving boba for like the last four days, so I'm probably gonna get some boba again like I did in the realistic one. If you wanna see any more content from me, all my recent videos are in the description down below as well as my Instagram and my TikTok. And like I've been saying, I recently just made a Twitter, so that'll be down there too if you wanna go give that a follow. Anyways, with all that being said, I will see you guys in a couple hours. So, I don't know if you guys remember, earlier in the video, I showed you this cup. This cup has my coffee in it, and we've been over this. I think it was either, it either was my what I eat in a day, or it was my, what video was that? What video was that? I literally can't remember the video, but whatever video it was, I'll leave it up here so that you guys can check it out. But bro, when I make my coffee and it's too hot, I only drink iced coffee, so the ice will literally melt when it's too hot and then it just tastes like watered down and it's not good. So I left it in the freezer for a couple hours so it would cool down, so now I'm gonna actually make my coffee. So it's just some black coffee in there right now. I'm gonna get some ice. <laughs> this is the creamer I use. I think I said it in that video. It's not the cream I use, it's the cream my dad uses. I just take it sometimes. Normally I use two sugars, but this is like a really small cup of coffee. So coffee? Coffee? So I'm just gonna use one. Cheers! <clears throat> that shit is good. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys or let you guys know I made a cup of coffee. So I'm debating if I actually want to go get boba before work because I really like want boba, but I don't need it, you know? So I'm like kind of trying to restrain myself like I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. Like do not go buy something that you don't need. And so far I'm doing a good job, but like I, I'm craving a freaking Thai tea from Boba Time. I don't know why, but I want a freaking Thai tea. But I feel like because I already got my coffee, I should be good now. Like I already have my like drink or whatever for the day. So I feel like I should be good. Y'all also know I have about this much self-control when it comes to shit that like food-wise that I want. I can restrain myself when it comes to shopping. I can restrain myself when it comes to necessities. I can restrain myself money-wise on most things, but when it comes to like food, that is my problem. That is literally my problem. So I'm trying to restrain myself. I'm trying to practice my freaking self-control and self-discipline. If I don't get it today, I'll reward myself on Friday with some boa. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get it. I'm putting it in my head right now. I'm like manifesting it. I'm not gonna get boba today, but Friday, <laughs> Friday can be boba time. So I'll let you guys know if I fail. Hopefully I don't, but regardless, I'm gonna have to make myself lunch in a little while anyway. So I'll see you guys for lunch. And then I'm debating if I wanna like show you guys what 
I pack like for food wise and snack wise for work or if I'm just going to show you guys what I'm eating at work because I pack a lot of different stuff but I don't always eat everything so I'm thinking maybe I will show you guys and then when I'm actually eating actually that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you guys for lunch okay so as usual I am now running behind and running late but I told you guys I was going to show you what I pack for lunch I have not decided what I'm going to have for like my actual or not lunch it's really my dinner because at the shop by the time I do eat, it's so late, like that's my dinner. Um, I wasn't hungry for lunch, so I didn't make anything, I think because the coffee kind of filled me. If you don't know, coffee is actually an appetite suppressant. So if you ever wonder why like you have your coffee in your breakfast and you're not hungry enough to finish your breakfast, you should probably be drinking your coffee after you're already done with your breakfast because it's an appetite suppressant and it fills you faster. So. Just a little tip, but basically for snacks, remember I said like my snacks is kind of whatever I want to eat versus like my actual meals for the day or what's going to be healthy for me. First we have these Pop-Tart Bites. They're actually really good, but I prefer the chocolate fudge ones. Those ones are freaking dank. And then these little, little bites. I have an extremely unhealthy obsession with these. Like when it was the beginning of quarantine, I was obsessed with those and I kind of hopped onto them and I've never left since. And then the last thing that I really need to break the habit of eating are these freaking hot cheeto hot fries. You guys know what I'm talking about? I was that girl in high school at seven o'clock in the morning eating these. Yep, mm -hmm, that was me. And it hasn't gone away since. So I'm still trying to like, cut those out but they're so freaking good bro like i'm gonna be one of those girls who ends up with a stomach ulcer because you can't stop eating hot cheetos or we could not manifest our own stomach ulcer now i'm gonna figure out what i want to actually take to work like food wise i think we have these leftover enchiladas at least i think that's what's in there so i thought these were enchiladas it's actually like a chili casserole so it's the chili but with the cornbread under it everyone was saying it was really really good and it's made with like beans and it's made with ground turkey and a little bit of cheese and looks like there's some veggies in here too so it's actually it hits all the food groups so we do love that and just pack myself two of those might not finish two, but it's better to pack more and have more to bring home rather than less and be starving at work. I have officially decided and made the right decision that I'm not going to get boba. It's now, even if I do try to go get boba now, I'll be late to work and I, I'm not going to do that. So it's official, like I did a good job. We're not getting boba today. And this is my dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna leave for work in like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, so I really don't see the point of even attempting to make a lunch because I'm not that hungry. The coffee filled me up. That's, that's all for right now. So like you guys just saw, I did end up making the sandwich. Yesterday when I got to work, I started like getting the shakes because if I don't eat, if I don't eat, I'll literally pass out. And that's why I have the issue of like when I am not hungry and I know I need to eat, I just eat whatever I want so that I don't pass out. So yeah, yesterday when I got to work, I was like not hungry that whole day so I was just eating whatever I wanted and then I didn't bring as many like even the snacks I didn't bring as many snacks as I brought today but yeah I didn't bring like a good amount of snacks I didn't bring as many as I needed and I only had my dinner which was enchilada and refried beans and I was just like starving I was shaking by like the last two hours of work I'm so lucky someone is training at my job right now and I'm training her because if I had to constantly like be getting up back to back for customers I truly think I probably would have passed out so that just really played itself in my brain and I was like you know what I probably should make a sandwich just so that when I do start to get hungry at work I have an actual lunch to eat and then I'll have my dinner like later on because I normally eat around like 7 38 at work that's why I made the sandwich I'll let you guys know when we're eating it but I'm gonna get all my stuff together right now 
so I can finally get my ass to work because I'm running late. I'm at work now. Sorry if the lighting is kind of shitty, but I'm about to eat my sandwich and I figured while I eat it, I would just like chit chat, talk to you guys. Kind of funny how I said I wasn't hungry and then I get to work and all of a sudden I actually want my sandwich. We don't have to talk about it. I feel like I've been struggling so much with trying to get back onto like my healthy, I don't know, I guess my health plan because I had like a streak for the first three, four months of 2022 where I was only eating healthy. I was working out consistently. Even if I didn't have the time to work out, I found a way to like get some form of workout into my schedule. And recently, I don't know what's been going on or like what it is, but I've just been failing <laughs> like really bad. Like I haven't been hungry the last two months. And I know that probably sounds weird, but like that's very normal for me. <laughs> Obviously, since I haven't been hungry, like I just eat whatever is appetizing in that moment. So as we talked about earlier, like that shit doesn't happen where I just pass out. And yeah, I've been trying to figure it out and I've been trying to like get back onto like the workout routine. I've been trying to get back with staying active and staying like healthy and nothing has changed like mental wise. Like I'm still in probably the best place I've been in my entire life mentally, spiritually, emotionally, but physically I just can feel- sorry I thought the customer was gonna come in. Physically I just feel that my body has gotten lazy again. Even when I know I have some time to work out, I don't want to. And the problem is, is that I've been really good about like, even if I don't want to do something, I do it anyways because I have to, just because like I set a standard that I have to do this for myself. And I haven't been following it recently and I don't know why, like I literally don't know what's good with me. But it's starting to piss me off. I like, I don't know, I work, I work really hard at like, if I keep pausing it's because I think a customer is about to come in just so that you guys are aware because if I look this way and I'm like pause for a second, that's why. I, yeah, I don't know. I talked about it in my mindful habits video. Actually click right up here to go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. But I talked about it in my mindful habits video and it was like, that was a couple months ago and no, 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 that's a lie. It was a couple weeks ago, and literally a couple weeks ago, I was still like, I'm about to get a customer, give me a second. Oh yeah, I don't know what it's been, but recently, like, I literally would say the physical activity stopped probably a couple weeks ago, but the eating habits stopped a cool, like, two months ago, and that's probably why I've been having so many skin issues, not just because my period, but because I haven't been eating properly, and I haven't been, like, putting healthy things to give you a healthy complexion and appearance. I haven't been putting those things in my body, so of course, like, it's gonna reflect that. But the working out stopped, a, like, I wanna say last month. And it sucks because when I made that Mindful Habits video, I was, like, on point with everything. And I was like that, especially the week I made that shit, the week I made it was, like, everything was coming back together. I was, like, on track with my workouts again. I was on track with my food habits again. I was on track with, like taking care of myself and ever since that video it just fell off again and I'm so confused because you would think being that it was like one of those motivational videos and like trying to pump you up trying to get you to take care of yourself essentially you would think it would reflect back to me and I would be like okay finally like this I just motivated myself like let's get back into what we should be doing but it just didn't have that effect and I don't know what to do about it I don't know it's just disappointing you know like you can get disappointed in yourself I'm sure we've all been disappointed with ourselves at some point and that's what it feels like it's like I know what I'm capable of I know what I can do I know what I should be doing to take care of myself and I'm not following through on any of it and I'm not really sure the reason why other than like the excuse of laziness so it's something I'm trying to work on if you guys have any tips on like getting back into your healthy mindset health regimen please let me know down below because none of my tips i give out or have for myself have been working on me and i can't figure out why but i'm actually maybe if i set a goal because whenever i have a goal set that's all my mind is focused on that if you guys aren't aware which i'm sure you are from watching this channel i have adhd and one of the things about adhd is like a lot of the times you will hyper focus on something so when i set like goals i'm hyper focused on that shit until that goal is completed and it may not seem like it because some of them are long-term goals but it's always in my head and in the back of my head like i need to do this for this today because Alyssa, six months from now will have that goal completed if i make this step so like that's constantly in my mind when i set goals and constantly like i'm just very aware of what that goal is and what i need to do to achieve it so maybe if i set a goal for like the end of may maybe that will help how about i update you guys <laughs> i'm gonna 
go ahead and like open up my journal <laughs> i don't know why i feel so awkward every time i talk about my journals or like my planners and shit but anyways i'm gonna actually like set a goal in my journal for the end of this month to be back onto my health regimen and like little steps i can do to get there and i'll update you guys on how it went because it's like just something that's been bothering me and something that i really want to work on so I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll see you guys for dinner. So I just warmed up my whatever the hell this is. Like I told you guys when I packed it, I really don't know what it is. But we're gonna try it together. It's supposed to be like a chili cornbread casserole. I'm very picky with casseroles because I, I don't know. Sometimes casseroles don't be hidden right. Sometimes they be hidden a little too well. Cheers. that's hot it just got finished off the mic it's so hot okay listen i'm not gonna lie i don't think i would eat two of these because i packed two but i definitely could smack one of them like it's not it's not something that i would willingly like make myself or choose to eat out of like options but if it was all that's there i could definitely eat this it's definitely good it's just not something that like i personally would choose i give it a solid seven out of ten it's a good meal it's a meal i could eat it it's edible and it's not like gross i'm gonna keep eating this we can have dinner together and i'll see you guys back at home i already know for a fact i'm gonna have a couple midnight snacks because i have an audition tomorrow morning can't tell you for what yet and I have to shave my legs when I get home. So I will be up late and having to be up at like 7 a.m. But it's fine. I don't know if it's just me, but does it take anyone else like a solid two, possibly two and a half hours to shave your legs? I normally get waxed like everywhere. So when I do have, Jesus Christ. So when I do have to shave, it's just like, it's not fun. It's literally like a, I'll, sometimes if I'm like going to the beach or something, or I know I have a shoot coming up, I have to plan a day where like I get all my shaving done in that day because since I don't shave and I'm not like used to it it takes me so long and it's just really annoying and I have to deal with that tonight so So I'm not gonna finish the second one as I was eating it. I'm not gonna lie It did start to grow on me like I like it a lot more as I was eating it The only thing I think was throwing me off was the corn I'm not a fan of corn so I just started picking it out and after that it was freaking delicious, bro I'm just not hungry so I can't finish the second one But I take back what I said I would 1000% eat the second one because that was fucking delicious But anyways, like I said, I'll see you guys at home for our midnight snack I am looking totally crazy right now, but I told you guys I'd be having a midnight snack. Cereal is that midnight snack. I'm currently waxing my legs for the audition tomorrow. <laughs> a little bit of a TMI, but it's natural, so get the fuck out of my face. I'm going to close out this video here because I'm going to be pulling a little bit of an all-nighter, so wish me some fucking luck. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If we did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. All my recent videos will be in the description down below, as well as my TikTok, Instagram, and I just recently made a Twitter, so if you want to, go ahead and follow that. You definitely should, because I'm funny. I really hope we did enjoy this what I eat in a day. I feel like it was a much healthier version to... The past version i don't have as many details as like my arm is getting so tired i don't have as many details as like i feel like most other youtubers do in the what i eat in a day but that's the thing like it's basically two things like one i don't count any of that shit i don't see like the purpose or the reason to count any of that shit really and i am like i was saying in the realistic what i eat in a day i am a little bit more blessed than others quite honestly because i don't really have to my natural build and like genetics and everything really helps me out so i don't really have to as much but like i do still have to stay in shape i do still have to like make sure that i am taking care of myself because at the end of the day that's what it is taking care of myself taking care of your own self but yeah i don't really have any notations to give you guys like oh this had this many grams and this many calories and all that because i don't count 
any of that shit so that's where like i do kind of feel bad if you are interested in that stuff but over here like any update of what i eat in a day is that i do are very casual very much just like this is literally what i eat i know like it's healthy for me in these ways and blah 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 you know anyways with all that being said i hope you liked today's video if you guys did comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time